Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with day three of the Righteous Fire SSF progression. Uh, we played for like a little bit extra yesterday. So uh, before I get started, I just want to jump into a map and kind of show you guys still what we are doing. So in the previous video, I was talking about how we are kind of making our Atlas. We're basically before we fill out our Atlas, we're keeping only one tier four map, which is Overgrown Shrine, and ideally one tier five map, which is Overgrown Ruin. So that way I could keep feeding maps into these tier, like specifically these two. I do also have Cage, but I did Cage just as a alternative method in case I couldn't get the div card out of these two. Uh, it's actually working out pretty well. We've run probably like a hundred maps, maybe like 80 maps. I've gotten five uh, Emperor of Purity, so that's pretty nice. And then our Atlas, we have actually progressed quite a bit. We're basically full strong box, and I do not need Betrayal anymore. Um, we actually did so much yesterday, it was crazy. Super lucky. Uh, so example is, I actually killed Katarina yesterday, and I got 3% regen on my first kill. And with Betrayal, I also have the Life Gain as ES, along with the Minimum Frenzy. I have increased uh, damage on rings. Uh, I have the Fire and Ignite multi. I have all of the Chaos. I have the um, uh, plus AoE gems. So I'm pretty much done with Betrayal. Uh, so I think the next step here is to respec Betrayal and potentially go into Essence to start building up Essence to craft my Six Link and potentially eventually my helmet i'm also debating on going expedition as expedition in general is not bad and then there might be the potential for harbinger as well but with that being said let's get started we also hit level uh 90 yesterday which was pretty cool uh you know level 90 running white maps pog uh, i mean i do still have some completion past the white maps it's just the white map is pretty much what i have been farming Yesterday, also, what we did that was really nice is, if you'll notice my flasks, uh, majority of them go off automatically. That's because I got used when charges reach full on one, two, three, four flasks. And then the sulfur flask is the one I'm probably not really going to use. At the moment, I'm just using it, it for increased damage. Towards the don't really want to use a sulfur flask, especially on Inquisitor. Is just the chances of me dying in low tier maps is pretty much abysmal. Uh, this is still Tabula Gaming as well, so we are soon going to get to replace this. We also got lucky yesterday and we pulled a Death's Rush out of a Ritual, so that was really awesome. Everything is uh, shaping up really nicely right now. Uh, we also hit level 20 gems yesterday on most of them, so most of my gems right now are flipped and they are lower level. Yeah, and that's pretty much been our rotation for the past uh, really, really long time. Pretty happy with the character. We're at like 34,000 armor in the Tabula Rasa. So that's definitely really nice. I'm very excited for our chest piece upgrade. Um, I have deviated slightly on my skill tree uh, from like what I showed you guys. So I have opted out to go here. Um, and this is really just for some speed. Uh, Art of the Gladiator gives you movement speed because it ignores the movement penalty from armor and it gives you 10% attack speed. Uh, I can probably drop this once my faster attacks hits 20. Oh, that's really fast actually. Uh, because when I flip my faster attacks, it gets 10% attack speed from quality. Uh, so that'll be pretty nice. Uh, but in reality, I don't really need to respect this until I get um, life as ES on my six link because... When I get life as ES on my 6 link, then I will favor taking energy shield nodes. Right now, with no energy shield, there's not really a reason to take energy shield nodes. Uh, but yeah, other than that, everything is pretty much the same. I also have this setup still, but um, soon, soon, TM, hopefully, uh, we can get a Master of Fire Cluster Jewel. Or at least an item level 75 fire-based Cluster Jewel. 
uh, and then we will start spamming it to get a master of fire and then we can essentially replace this right here or i want to say this right here and then this section here will most likely get chopped for like two point jewel two point jewel um hey i mean that'll pretty much be it we go over my gear um i think i upgraded my boots from last time they're basically just 30 percent movement speed nothing too special here um still using the same dot multi amulet i did i think get a new helmet from the last time you guys saw um i don't know if you guys saw these gloves or not and then these are this is the belt i have we're sitting at currently 85 78 78 56 so pretty happy with my chaos res and we have a decent amount of wealth right now i have another 20 chaos and div cards that i actually need to turn in here oh actually yeah yeah and uh what i've been doing recently is we've actually been juicing some of our tier fours and tier fives i've used like wing div scarab delirium orb you know 20 percent quality bald using like infused ambush on the box or on the crafting bench we've pretty much went all out on our white tier maps to get our six link holy chain mail so the goal is definitely getting this for the day and uh trying to figure out where we are going with these points here because it's either a we go into like essences or b i haven't really thought about b yet so we're gonna we're gonna figure out there's just kind of like a lot to do uh thankfully i'm up to 11 orbs of unmaking uh, orbs of unmaking seem to drop a lot from strong boxes so i'm very happy i went with a strong box setup probably the most like obvious slash rewarding thing you could possibly get i think we're keeping kirak missions until we have a really big atlas bulk potentially gonna drop shaping of the seas i might i don't really like shaping the seas especially because i don't have a favored map but i don't really have anything to drop it for maybe if i come over here for essence i might come here and get shaping of the mountains i'm not really too sure we'll figure it out Anyway, that's pretty much about it for now. Hope you guys have been enjoying the progression. Uh, I've been loving it. So if you guys want to come check it out, don't forget, you can always catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, boys, don't forget to feed your alpaca every day. It's very important for RNG. 